Hello, this is BlackXP, and welcome to yet another edition of my videos. This one's going to be more combat related. It's not going to be like my usual scaling videos. So I hope you enjoy. So let's start out first. Specifically, this video is going to take you through various tweaks or minor glitches in the combat system that you can kind of use, more or less use in your favor, because none of them are going to get you banned. But it's just things over the years that have become kind of core in the combat system that you can use that really help out combat. So just a quick disclaimer, many of these things you already know, many of the things you might not know, but just bear with me. Some things are very simple, some things are more complex. So here we go. Starting off at number one is rushing. Rushing is a very, very common technique used in PKing and other various PvP, which you catch your opponent off guard by stacking multiple hits at once so it hits them before they can really react. In this case, I'm going to stack Ice Blitz with a Karassi spec. As you can see, I'm prepping the special first, then clicking on the target. And after I click on him, I'm going to run towards him real quick and use my attack so you can see it's following him and hitting him at the same time. That's adding additional damage all at once. It's not an optimal hit, but as you can see, it's very effective. Number two is a technique I've kind of named as Ice Hopping. It's using any sort of ice attack. I use the Zamorak God Sword in this situation. You can use Ice Blitz, Ice Barrage, or Entangle and you stand under the target so they can't attack back and you move out and attack. This does one of two things. If they're inexperienced, you'll be able to hit them and they won't be able to hit back. If they're smart enough to try to attack you when you move out, it'll reduce the attack speed of their weapon to the attack speed of your weapon. So for instance, if they're using a whip and you're using a god sword, their whip's hitting at the same speed as your god sword. So you have a, a, a superior kind of a technique there if you're using a slower weapon. Numero Trace is called Hugging. Very basic straightforward to the point you're using range or mage against someone with melee and you're staying one step ahead of them getting them trapped on the walls and obstacles throughout each hit and you can basically get to the point where you're not being hurt whatsoever and you're dealing out damage to the other player the only real way to counter this if you're in the melee situation is to constantly click on the ranger so you'll follow them around the corner in each step but in this case the other player is using auto retaliate so it's kind of easy to predict the movement Coming in at number four is probably, if I could pick one tip to teach you, it'd be this one. It's called prayer flashing. Prayer flashing is the ability to toggle your prayer on and off at a rate in which you don't waste any prayer points, but you're getting the full effect. The best way to practice this is to attack anything that can auto-retaliate against you, because as you see their animation of them about to attack you, you can click on the soul split and turn it back off, but not immediately. You want to see the prayer flash above your head. If it doesn't flash above your head, you click too fast but you also want it to not stay on too long so your prayer points don't drop. And if you do this properly, you'll see that the animation for Soul Split goes through and you do heal health, but you're not wasting any prayer points. And this is great for any Slayer task you don't want to waste any prayer on, like Water Fiends, you can stay at indefinitely. Step 5 is a quick deja vu of the previous step. What it is, is prayer flashing in a more advanced manner. It allows you to use Protect Melee and Soul Split at the same time, and it does the same exact thing. But instead of turning your soul split on and off, you switch to protect melee after every step. You still drain prayer because you're using protect melee most of the time, but it allows you to use both prayers in conjunction. It's very good for the corporeal beast or any type of boss that you can't protect 100% against and you require that healing. Tip 6 is probably the most basic of all the steps because most of you already know it. It's called weapon switching, but it's the most fundamental piece of free to play PKing because you're using a faster weapon and switching to a slower weapon. When you switch to that slower weapon, it maintains the same attack speed as your previous weapon, just for that next hit. As you can see in this video, I'm going to switch to my axe. And it attacks at the same speed as the whip, and you get a massive hit all at once. Problem is, you have to be careful, because your next hit goes at the same speed as the axe now. So it's only for finishing moves, but it's very good and free to play when you don't have special attacks or rely on for that finishing move. Tip number seven is incredibly specific, so it's not that useful, but it's kind of interesting. It's allowing you to use two Karassi specs by using a spec restore, and what you do is you can use a lot of hotkeys to make this a lot easier. So you can use F5 to switch over, and you can drink that broom very fast between the attacks. It allows you to do something of this sort, so it's interesting, but it's not very specific to anything other than Karassi. Last but not least is tip number eight. This is probably a very useful thing in a PvP situation because it allows you to prepare a special attack for your next hit. And what you do is you bring your weapon to the bottom slot of your inventory, you right click it, and then hit F5. F5 brings up your special attack menu. So then when you hit a large hit, you can quickly switch weapons and use your special attack all at one go. 
it allows for less failure than if you were clicking between tabs, and you can do it all in a fluid motion. So that's a few of probably a million different things you can do in the combat system. I just hope a few of these are probably more of the main ones you can learn, and hopefully you learned something, or maybe you knew everything. But it's just something throughout there. It's a type of guide I haven't seen before, so I thought it'd be useful to some players. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll keep making vids, so subscribe if you like. It's up there in the corner somewhere. But uh, if not, well, I'll see you around. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair I remember like I saw it yesterday To the sound of flutes and drums she took my hand and danced with me And we kept dancing once the music went away Oh she's dancing in the stillness to the